ArraySTAR allows you to easily identify and compare interesting groups of genes, SNPs, isoforms, exons, and other items, depending on what kind of project you're working on. The example I'm looking at here is an RNA-seq project for two human samples, so I'll be identifying groups of genes to compare. There are several different ways to filter your data and create these groups, which we call sets. One way is to use the Quick Set Wizard, which you can access either from the experiment list view or from the Venn diagram view. From the experiment list view, I can click on this link here, which will bring up the Quick Gene Set Creation dialog. And I just want to find genes with a high signal value, so I'm going to choose to check experiments individually. Step 2 asks me to select my experiments, and both of mine are already selected. And in step 3, I can specify that I want to find genes with a signal threshold greater than or equal to 10. I'll click Finish. And you can see that ArraySTAR took me to the Venn diagram view and created two gene sets for me, one for each of my samples, each showing genes with a signal greater than or equal to 10. Now before I show you the Venn diagram, I want to create a few more gene sets to compare. So another way to do that is to use the quick links that are provided in any of the graphical views. For example, in the scatter plot here, I can click on the quick link to select all of the genes that have an eightfold change. And once I have a selection made, I can then click on Remember the Selection as a Gene Set to save those selected genes as a group. After clicking OK, I'm taken to the Set List view, and I can see my new gene set in addition to the two that were already created. I'm going to create one more gene set, this time using the Advanced Filtering dialog, and you can access that by going to Filter, Filter All. And this dialog allows for a lot of complexity in your searches. You can add and remove different criteria by using these plus and minus buttons here. Now I've already imported annotation data for my project, so I'm going to search for genes that have certain annotations associated with them. So I'm going to choose Gene Annotation Text. I'll look for the term brain and we'll search our gene expression annotations and I'll add one more to search for the term ganglion. I'm going to click search And you'll see it found 838 genes, so I'm going to save those as a gene set by clicking on this button here. Click OK. And there's my new set. So now I'll return to the Venn diagram view. And from the All Sets list, select three of my gene sets. The genes in the brain sample with a signal greater than or equal to 10, the eightfold change genes, and the genes with the gene expression annotations we searched for. And this will help me see how many upregulated genes in the brain sample have a gene expression annotation that supports brain tissue expression. Now there are actually two different modes in the Venn diagram, and this one is the dartboard mode. This mode allows you to compare as many gene sets as you want. The dartboard diagram is organized into rings, with the outermost ring containing a single section for each of the sets. The next ring in contains sections corresponding to genes that are unique to each combination of two sets. And the middle always represents the group of genes that are common to all sets in the diagram. To switch to the Venn mode, I'll click on this button here. And this mode can be used to compare two or three different sets. Here each set is represented by a circle and the areas where the circles overlap represent groups of genes that are common between the sets. So for example, this section here, CFG, represents the genes that are common between all three of my selected sets. To see details for a section, just hover over it, and information will be displayed in the Details section of the Info pane. If I click on the section, that will select those genes and provide action links to perform various functions such as clustering 
or showing the selected genes in the gene table to view additional information.